And here we are again. Happy birthday to, to you, me. Happy birthday to me. Is this how we start in the pod? Happy birthday. It's Alia's birthday. And um, Alia. <laughs> I'm still in my karaoke vibes uh, from this weekend. Yeah, if you guys follow us on Instagram, you see that we've been out and about yesterday. Literally just one time, though. Like, I mean, I've never been to karaoke ever before. So that's what I'm wait, saying. Wait, you never done karaoke before? Then? No, never. Really? I always, yeah. I feel like it was my second time. I did karaoke, but the first time was a long, like, long time ago. So that's, it doesn't count. So it doesn't count. Yeah, I've never done karaoke, and I was I was always kind of like a little bit shy to do karaoke. Mm, so the guy that loves to sing. Exactly, because there's this thing when you know you kind of sound good. I never wanted to be the guy that's like that actually can sing. Okay, no, but listen, at karaoke, like you can't you can't really hear if somebody sounds I, particularly good. No, you can. No, you cannot. You're holding the mic far away from you so no one can hear how you sing. I'm That's not even why. saying that I sound good. Sorry if, if sorry if I also appear like sleepy. Some apparently people are complaining that I look sleepy. Guys, somebody somebody we commented. Record hella late. What can I tell you? <laughs> somebody commented a few weeks ago that was like, "Yo, Alia always looks sleepy in the podcast." Yo, okay, Alia be walking a lot. Okay, it's because it's my bedtime right now. Um. I'm still on New York time. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. You better <laughs> stop saying that shit. I know. But anyway, so we went to my one of my good friend's birthdays. Shout out to Brenda. Um, she had a whole birthday day. Like, it was a whole day's worth of things going on for her birthday. But it yeah. was kind of like our birthdays are two days apart. It was, so a, true, it was a true birthday. Yeah, you know? it was like a birthday. Yeah. Um, and it was lots of fun. It was really great. And we got to hang out and meet some really awesome people. But then we um, ended up the last stop of the day or the night was karaoke. And um, first we, of all, wait, before you go there, I thought we were going home after the second club. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a whole like we had we had brunch that turned into lunch and a whole thing. We watched the first episode of Black Mirror. Oh, which, by the or, way. I don't know if it was the first one. I actually think we we watched the last one. The because last Because everybody one. Says, said the last one was the best one. It wasn't the best one at all. I mean, it's the only one we saw, and it didn't really hit that much. So I can't imagine the, the other, other episodes. The other ones that weren't as good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, so it was a whole thing, and then we went home for like 30 minutes to change into different clothes because then we went to dinner and then we went to a bar and then we went to a club and then we went to karaoke it was a whole thing i mean i had a great time you know especially because like, we never do that we never do that the last time i went to a club was maybe 2019 i swear to god i thought you were about to say 20 years ago <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a lot um mm. yeah and you guys know you guys know how i feel about the club but i feel like how we both Think I'm so lucky to have found Alia and she is the same. She views the whole club culture the same way. Yeah. Even though I think that you still went to more clubs than I have ever in my life. Because I just like when I did for like you, a whole summer, I just went a lot. Exactly. And you had that phase. Yeah. Of like two week, two months. Exactly. <laughs> I never had that phase. Mm, yeah. Well, that was all I needed because then I got it out of my system and then I was like, you know what? I'm clubbed out. Um, but, you know, because we're leaving Seattle, I feel like I want to get not experience, but you kind can, of just see what the nightlife is here even though, because we're leaving. Even though a lot of people say it's not that great. But even though, I mean, it's still experiencing. Yeah, it's still experiencing it. So I feel like, you, <laughs> you know, just, the last weekend, yeah. what, did I just contradict myself? No, you just said... I I don't want to I don't want to say experience, but, but I kind of just want to like go out and just basically experience. try things, you know, just be out there, aka experiencing. Yeah. Um. But anyways, so it was a fun time, it was and great. I was just gonna say that at karaoke, I thought I was gonna be like way more shy because I thought that when people sing, like you kind of let one person go at a time and maybe it depends on the group of people you go with but the group that we were with 
everybody was just singing together every song like it doesn't matter if you had the mic or not everybody was just singing and then the music's hella loud and the way that the room sound goes i'm like i can't tell i can't hear myself so i definitely can't hear other people either but you could hear me though when i was singing though not right really like at all actually uh, i feel like there's a rule when you go do karaoke is that when you choose a song if not if everyone in the room doesn't know the song you can't play that song if if not everyone in the room yes yeah i feel like because there was a few songs that yo there's a few songs that were not my generation because i was the youngest there and i feel like there was a few that i was like i've never heard the shit in my life yeah yeah i feel like that's when we should just play a song that everybody knows because then it's just more fun because there yeah. were a few songs that i actually just didn't even know yeah, yeah and i was just yeah. sitting there like trying to like sing with the lyrics on the yo, screen and there's sometimes that i r- didn't know the song at all so and I feel like the way that it shows you, like, as it was the delayed. writing, it's delayed. So delayed. But then you also just, if you don't know, there's so many different ways that you could say it. And this one time, it said something like, it's so ridiculous or some shit. But it was, it's so ridiculous. Like, it was and, like a slow And let me tell one, you guys how I, Alia said it. She was like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I literally, wait, and it I was thought, like in a moment when nobody said anything you, and the music was really quiet. You really thought that's how it was in the song? I don't know. I also was so like, you know, we had we had been drinking kind of all day. I was, there was a lot accumulated to that I'm point. Play. I'm going to find it. No, don't play the video. No, just the audio so 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 people can really hear it. I don't know if people, if it's going to, you're going to be able to hear it. Okay. But either way, it was supposed to be like, a nice slow like it's so ridiculous or something no it's it's a uh, the neo song it's ridiculous it's been months like the so sick song oh okay okay i do know that song but i only know the chorus anyway, like, I don't so really know when that neo part. says it's ridiculous ali was like it's, it's ridiculous, ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and i said it before you actually say it's and it was like the perfect timing that everybody was like what i thought you did that on purpose no it was so and that those are the moments that i'm like this is why i don't do karaoke it's just yeah. i hate being embarrassed for things like that you know anyways guys welcome back to the what's the juice podcast i'm your host ali zaitsa and i am your other host yoni ikoto and we've got a fun little juicy show for you guys today where we're talking all about birthdays because as obviously it was my birthday last week Mm -hmm. it's more fun to talk about the things that are currently happening honestly yeah 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 it is but sometimes there's nothing happening so we have to talk about some philosophical shit yeah i hate those what do you mean you hate those i don't know it's like there's an i feel like I don't it's know. a I don't heavy have... feeling yeah, when exactly. we have to sit down, yeah. But um, I am 24, just turned 24, and I, I kind of, you know, we wanted to talk about, or I mean, I wanted to talk about birthdays because I feel like I have a very particular feeling that I get when my birthday comes around, and a lot of it has to actually it has nothing to do with me and it has to do with like outside shit making me feel some type of way so basically is the birthday pressure you know what the birthday pressure is it's like when your birthday is coming up and everybody's asking you oh what are you doing for your birthday where are you going who is going what are you doing blah 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 and there's this like pressure to like make your birthday so special and do this whole thing for your birthday and i'm just the type of person that in general like i'm much more of an introvert than an extrovert and i don't love to like go out the biggest activity that i like to do in terms of like social is like go out to dinner and like you know you can have some drinks or whatever and like i'll go to a bar but i just prefer to like have dinner because then you sit down it's more quiet you can like have a conversation um and in general, I just feel like both of us, we're not the type of people that plan like events and things. Like we don't have people come over to our place. We are much more likely going to go to other people's apartments. Just, I don't know why that is. I think when we lived at Green Lake, 
and we had the rooftop, we hosted a few parties. And that's because we just got our apartment. And I feel like... If I if you have a rooftop on top of your building, it's much easier to like invite people for barbecue or just like you know get together. Mm. But if you and you also feel building, like they're not in your space. Yeah, exactly. But then, we also live like in a small ass apartment. Yeah. So here, and also too, just like the neighbors that we have. That is true. They're if, very. Yeah, like I can walk. If you drop a phone. They're going to come knock at your door. They're going to come knock at your door and be like, excuse me, can you please? He's like, yo, can I live my life? Yeah, like, well, you can't wear, we can't wear shoes in the house because um, it's, it's very like annoying. too loud. Like, that lady be acting like she'd be paying our rent. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's fine. We got a few weeks left in this apartment anyways. R.I.P. Um, <laughs> R.I.P. to the apartment? R.I.P. to this footage. Oh, yeah, damn. Because, you know. I'm kind of. I, I want to have a new setup next no, time. We'll have a better setup. Yeah, we're about to elevate. But anyways, um, yeah. There's just this whole pressure that I get that you have to like make a plan for your birthday. And there's two sides to it. There's the side that I naturally go towards that I'm like, I don't really care. It's just another day. Like, yes, it's my birthday, but also like it doesn't have to be such a big deal. Um, I don't really want to do like. A whole thing. I'm just not the type of person. It's just it doesn't. It's not something I desire all the time. To Why like, not? Why not? I don't know. I think it's like for you don't one, want to like celebrate your, the day you were born. It's kind of a weird celebration, though, I right? No, I feel like it's kind of I. A big thing for me is that I feel like if I invite people to come celebrate my birthday, first of all, I don't have that many people in my life that I want to invite. <laughs> Second of all. I don't want anybody to feel pressured to come celebrate me. And I don't want them to feel like, I I don't want anybody to think, damn, she considers me like that close of a person to like invite me to her birthday. What? You know what I'm saying? What kind of thought is that? It's kind of fucked up, right? (laughs) Yeah. I don't know. Like. It's for me. Like, what if I invite people and then whatever I, I planned for my birthday, they come and it's like not that fun and it's lame or something. I'd much rather not have anything. I don't know. I feel like for birthdays, if someone arranges the whole thing for you, to me, that's like ideal. No, no, that's different. I'm talking about making I'll it be like there. I'm arranging shit for myself. There's something yeah. about it that I don't want to, I, I don't want to do that. Like when you... When you did the surprise birthday thing. Uh, Two years I ago. How, I was like turning 22. Yeah. Yeah. And when you did that, that was the best time because I didn't, It maybe the, it's something kind of like, it gives me, not. It, I don't even know what the word is. I want to say like self-conceited, but that's not correct. Hmm. Like it gives me, it, it makes me feel like super self-centered, just me personally. And if you're a type of person that what loves- What do you mean by self-centered for like, people who don't know? Like it, exactly how it sounds, self-centered. Like it's a, it's very self-centered of me. It gives me that vibe of like, you're come bringing... celebrate me. Mm-hmm. Inviting all these people to like, I hate being, I hate that type of attention. I never like when people know, are like, same. let's go celebrate you for like, even like my graduation, like do a whole party thing. And like, do I've never been that type of person. Like, it just makes me feel uncomfortable for some reason. I can, I can, I can identify. I can, wait, I can, I can identify. identify with that. <laughs> no, I, I, I relate to that as well. Yeah. I've I think never, the and like the other day I told you I'd never had a party for my birthday. Mm. Not even party. You've never really done anything for your birthday. Maybe I had one before that someone got a cake for me or something. Mm, right? The first year we met, I remember. Yeah. Um, and I've had small stuff like in the house, even like, you know, in Belgium. But it was never like we're going out for Yoni's party or like we're going like people getting dressed to come to my party mm. and they make it a thing. I've never done that. But then also no one really like arranged something big like that for me. Mm. And I'm not saying that because I want to, I'm not giving you a hint to do that (laughs) this year. I'm not, I will. you know, but it's just something that I always loved going to those, those things. Oh yeah. I love going to people's things. You know, when I did your thing, it was, I felt like it was my thing. 
Yeah, and it was so But different. it was so fun. It was so fun because it was like, all right, she's in the kitchen. I I'm texting no your idea. mom. I'm texting my mom. I'm texting my sister. Um, and it worked out perfectly. Yeah, it really did. Yeah. Um, if you don't know how it went down, Ali was in the house cooking. I was, it was a random day. What I wanted to do for my birthday is bake a cake. That's it. She kept talking about this cake she wanted to bake and fill me. That's all I knew. Yep. So I was like, okay, cool. You know what? You can do that. Yeah. I had a whole different plan. Um, I texted everyone. Um, it's kind of hard to make plans with a lot of people at the same time. Yeah. And also at the time, we lived in an apartment that had hella windows. Mm-hmm. What does so that have to do with anything? It's No. So it would, it would have been very likely oh. that I could have seen you guys The windows on, were so big. The yeah. So I told everyone not to park in the front because you would have definitely seen them. Yeah. Um, and then I came in, I told everyone to, um, I can't, I told everyone to wait in the hallway. I wish I could like insert a video so you can Well, I, can show. I have video of it, um, on my YouTube channel. You can see it says like birthday turning 22 or something Oh, okay. Like that. So. Basically, I Yoni in, comes in from like the store. Yeah, from the store. I came in from the store and then, um, everyone basically just came behind me. I, no, I walked no, no, in the apartment no, no. first. No, I walk into the apartment first. And then I said, "Hi, babe." You're like, "Hey, what you do?" Whatever, right? Did, did and then Iris... someone knocked at the door. Oh, right, and right, I, right, right. I was expecting my friend Hannah was gonna come over and help me bake this cake. Mm, right. So I was like, "Oh, that must be Hannah," because I was just texting her. Yes. And then I opened the door and I just see everyone there and i was i was so surprised i had i really had no idea that was so perfect i had no idea yeah but it was so fun and it was so different because then i don't know i just i didn't have to maybe it's just in my head like the concept of inviting people inviting, for your own thing yeah, exactly it. exactly because it's different if i'm like let's let's go get dinner just because or like let's go get dinner yeah, like just because it's Friday night, like who wants to hang out? Let's go get some food and hang out or whatever. But that's it has nothing to do with like celebrating me specifically and like yeah. getting together for me. But there's not, I don't think there's anything wrong with I'm inviting people. I'm not saying people. there's anything wrong with it at all. I'm saying that that's how it makes me yeah. feel. It makes me feel like cringy and uncomfortable. And that's a big reason why I kind of don't want to make a plan. But then the other side of it is, okay, I end up not making a plan, but then I feel lame because I'm like, I should want to make a plan and I should want to do something for my birthday. (laughs) And and then I become like, yeah, I become like sad because like my birthday, like this year, for example, I actually, on my actual birthday, I worked most of the day. I was just editing a video, doing just a bunch of work. And then um, I was at a coffee shop and Yoni was at work. And then he, I, I messaged him and I was like, hey, are you on your way? Because I knew he got off work already. And I was still at the coffee shop. And then Yoni calls me and he's like, where are you? And I was like, oh, I'm still working at the coffee shop. And then he's like, oh, like I just got home. I wanted to like surprise you by coming home early. And I got yeah. sad that like I missed like a cute surprise thing for my birthday because it didn't feel like my birthday. Because I was just, it was like any other day. Nothing, there was nothing special about it. So why did you um, feel sad? I felt sad because I wanted to be surprised. Oh. I wanted to be, I wanted to add a little sprinkle of birthday, a, a little birthday seasoning to my day. Because so far it just had been like any other day. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, I, I, I really was hoping you'd be home. I brought I brought her flowers. Ali always says she doesn't like flowers. But it's then when I bring flowers, she's like, oh, my God, thank you, babe. Like, she actually means it. Yeah, because it's sweet, you know? Yeah, well, um, but then when she came home, obviously, I was already at home. So, I actually had time to, like, unravel, like, unpack. Unwrap. The, yeah, unwrap the, the flowers yeah, and just put, put them on the table. Water. Yeah. Yeah, I did know you got me flowers. Yeah, I mean, I'm just sure I get you flowers every year. Yeah. Um. Anyways, yeah, I know, but it shouldn't get to me in that way, and it was weird. And then I, especially because maybe it was also because my friend had this whole like birthday plan that she had planned 
around her birthday and our birthdays are so close and then like i didn't have i didn't do anything like that for myself and that's totally fine and i don't know if maybe because of that it also felt accentuated that like why why aren't you doing something for your birthday like why are you being lame yeah like, no, why don't you want people to like come celebrate you or something like that that crosses then, my mind sometimes too it's yeah. like why is there something wrong with me like why do i not want to like even just like i mean i definitely don't want to go to a club i hate yo i hate <laughs> clubs okay yeah but it's, it's more about just like telling people like hey like come over to our place or come to this restaurant at yeah. blah 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 for my birthday um, because is, anytime I go to someone else's birthday, whatever the event is, if it's at a restaurant or if it's at their house or whatever, I always have a great time. Yeah. yeah. You know? Even though sometimes, like, I think this past weekend, I, I wasn't feeling very social. But then, like, there's this thing that, like, as soon as I get to the venue. To the social to event. To the social gathering. You say venue as if we went to some I know, right? wedding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and then something just clicks and i feel great yeah 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 i don't know know. what should we do for my birthday this year december Um, 11th okay well we're not gonna be in seattle anymore who i mean who knows but we should definitely do something i feel like there's gonna be so much happening but like before my birthday yeah it's i mean it's a full like six months exactly so we've got a while (laughs) yeah we got a while to go yeah um another little thing about birthdays especially as an adult, I feel like that I still have a hard time navigating is gifts. You mean like getting gifts to people or receiving? I guess both, but I just don't really know. I don't know, like as adults, do you, if you're invited to someone's birthday, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's say we have a friend, we're going to his birthday Mm -hmm. next week. Like, do we get them a gift? I think it's Does usually... Does it depend how close you are to them? Depends how close you are to them. Depends if you know that they want... If you, It depends if you know that they want something specific. Like, if you're close enough to know, like, they're, they'd be wanting to get this. Okay, let's say not. Because also, I don't think necessarily, like, think about your friends right now. Could you think of something that your friend specifically wants? If it was their For birthday? a couple of them, yeah. It could be a jersey from a certain team. Okay, do they specifically want that? Or do you think it's something that they would just like? No, they don't specifically want okay. that. Because you made it seem as if, like, right now I have a list of, like, if it was someone's birthday, I knew exactly what they would want. It's more like you just know what they're into. I mean, if they want something, know- they, they probably can, they probably, they will get it. Exactly. My, yeah, that's my point. <laughs> so, it's not a matter of, like, knowing what they want. Because you don't just give someone a gift because you they told you that they want something, right? Mm, so, yeah. if it's, let's say... I like wish it was ex- like that, though. For example, let's say we're going to Bobby's birthday. Mm-hmm. And... Not, I mean, shout out to Bobby, you know. But <laughs> just as an, as an example, <laughs> okay, right? Okay, yes. Definitely shout out to Bobby, yeah. Um, and I'm just like... W- do you, I just don't know because as a kid, like when when you were a kid, you always gave people presents and gifts on their birthdays, like from a kid to another kid. But as getting older, now I feel like if I'm invited to someone's birthday, I just don't know, like, is it an automatic thing that you get people a gift? Do you only do that if like you're really close to the person you're going it to depends. the birthday There's no with? rule to this, honestly. But then I also feel like it's awkward if you didn't give them a gift and then they open gifts, which is also another thing that for me, I didn't know people do that. I grew up where like as a kid, you get gifts, but you don't open the gifts in front of everybody else. No. You open the gifts later after everyone left. Yeah, I've never opened gifts in front of other but people. But then I've noticed that here as adults, people it's like gift opening time and they open it in front of everyone. <laughs> and I feel like that's and then, so And then if you're the person with no gifts, you just stand in there like, Yeah, I'm I'm and the friend f- with no gifts. Everybody's like, So what about did you did you what did you bring her? Exactly. <laughs> i don't know or like if there's somebody that gives them some crazy shit and there's someone that's like what is this you know and then and then they tell you who it was from also yeah 
and people reading like the cards. Yeah, I mean, some people sh- are, some people are really really into that. I don't want to if- seem judgmental. Yeah, no, you're not. I'm not trying. I'm I'm seriously like that one for me was a, a surprise to see like people doing that just because I guess culturally like I just never did that because I feel yeah. like it makes the people. Like, it makes it so much more like it's about me. Like, what did you guys get me? I don't know if it's weird. No, it's not even a... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, for me, if I have a, a get-together and then I get gifts from people, I will open that shit maybe like the next day or maybe like when everybody leaves, you know? Yeah, definitely when everybody leaves. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe it could be like a cultural difference, you know? I'm not sure. I don't know. If you're listening to this, let me know what you do in your uh, in your country. Like, do you open gifts right away? Do you get gifts for every person you get invited to? I feel like because what if you get invited to someone's birthday through a friend? Okay. You know what I'm saying? No. So it's like I just we just went to my friend's birthday, right? Mm-hmm. And then I met some of her friends, and then let's say one of those friends has a birthday and she's like, oh, hey, also invite Alia to her birthday. Okay. So I'm friend, I'm friends with her through my, our mutual friend. So, so I'm not question? like a direct friend. So like, do I bring them a gift? If you want to, but not, probably not because I don't know you like that. Right. But then it's hella awkward when the gift opening moment is happening and I didn't give them anything. So it's not about that. To me, it's really not even about it. Like even if I had a, a gathering and my best friend comes and didn't bring me a gift a gift i don't I'm care thinking, it's I'm not about as that. an adult i'm not getting a gift <laughs> no i'm not i'm never expecting that yeah never i just want my people to come have a good time because yeah, as adults exactly. your time is so precious that that yeah. already means so much exactly exactly then someone that just comes and bring you like some not sh- that i don't appreciate gifts and like gifts aren't fun because I, they are i stopped caring about gifts i don't but i honestly and i prefer to not get a gift and or maybe get a gift that's kind of like like wine or something that like a snack or like some shit some like, food just, br- just bring that's Allie so some easy food. but like to so get someone very specific like okay nobody should get other adults clothes as gifts i feel like you can yeah. do that for children and stuff like that but as soon as you're an adult and they are an adult like you shouldn't buy each other clothes because i feel like that's unless so it's a specific. jersey from a team they like okay you're so obsessed with this right now no i'm saying because sure. it's a piece of clothing you know um yeah but you still don't know their size <laughs> well i guess so i guess you can maybe you can text somebody and find out right you know something that i never really understood and it's something that i actually never care- cared about mm-hmm. if someone forgets my birthday mm-hmm it could be my sister, it could be my dad, my mom, it could be whoever. I'm not offended by it. But do you take note that like this person forgot? I definitely know exactly who forgot. <laughs> okay. But I also understand that maybe they had a long day. Because, mm-hmm. you know, like the older you get, you just realize that, man, like everyone is having so much shit happening in their day. Yeah. It's like, you know. I know you care about me or like I know you're my friend. Yeah. I know you perp I know you like you didn't do it on purpose. You just forgot. Yeah. You know, but here's the thing. If you forget, I'll, I'm not going to remind you. Oh hell no. This is this is the thing. And I can text you the next day or the it, same day, all day. Yeah, exactly. We've talked, we've hung out maybe. But is it on your on your birthday is it weird to text your friend that didn't wish you a birthday? Why am I texting them? To be like, yo, have you seen this? Or like, is it weird to send them like a... So it's like unrelated. Unrelated to your birthday. It is your birthday. Would you have texted them that anyways? Yeah. No, why would it be weird? It's it's like any other day. But it's your birthday and you know that day you forgot. (laughs) (laughs) Well. So wait, so now they're talking. You you have a full-blown conversation with the friend that forgot your birthday. Mm -hmm. In person or on text? No, on text. Okay. Oh, wow, in person, that would be so bad, too. I mean, okay. And you're texting them, and then you're, you're not expecting them to say happy birthday. But you know but that, you know they, that forgot. they forgot. And they don't, like, they they obviously don't know they forgot. Yes, and you also know that they have no clue that they yeah. forgot. Obviously. And you also kind of don't care that they forgot. Exactly, but it's but still, it's still a little still a weird. Thing. 
yeah. it's still a little funny, right? So what do you do? So then the next day, let's say they do remember that it was your birthday. Or maybe they see someone uh, that posted, yeah. happy birthday, Alia. And they're like, wait, I talked to Alia all day today. And or I'm yesterday. Supposed to, yeah, or yesterday. But I didn't wish them a happy birthday. And do then you, they feel bad. I think it's funny. No, I think it's funny, too. I think it's hilarious. And yeah. it's fine. Oh, yeah. Fuck, you know? I, I don't know people's birthdays by heart. I have some people in my calendar, but yeah. whoever I forgot to put in my calendar, like, I'll forget your birthday. I'm sorry. Honestly, I know I, maybe I, it's like sometime in this year, like it's like, yeah. you know, close to Christmas time or like it's right after, you know, that. I of- know my my close friend's birthdays, but everyone else, it's literally on Instagram that I see someone posted. Like, happy birthday. And then blah, I'll blah, be blah, like... Blah. I would just go to their Instagram and just DM them and yeah. be like, oh, hey, happy birthday. Yeah. It's not that I remember. And honestly, I feel like it's so, I just really wouldn't get, don't take it personal people forget your birthday. If you woke up and <laughs> nobody remembered it was your birthday, how would you feel? Since you don't care. Nobody like my family didn't remember either. Your dad forgot, your mom, That would be kind of weird. If, but like, what, that wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen. Yeah. You know? But that would be a very sad day. That would be a sad day. Like, damn. If like, really nobody remembered, yeah, it would feel kind of shitty. I would feel like I, I don't even matter. Like, why but am I, I even here? Like, you know, <laughs> if your parents are around and if like your family, you know... If you're good I think within families, like people remember family f- birthdays. Yeah. So it's unlikely you won't have at least like one person that remembers. Mm. Okay. So if you're in a group chat and all your girls are in that group chat, right? Mm-hmm. And one of the girls in the group chat, it's her birthday. Mm-hmm. Let's say it's like on a Wednesday, right? Do you wish them happy birthday separately or on the group chat? Separately. Okay, so you do separately. Because I don't want to, to, I don't, I do it separately because I feel like I might also write some other shit in there. And also the group chat is usually meant to be used to like post, to like talk to everybody. But I'm not okay. wishing happy birthday to everyone. So okay, why would I, I put it in the group chat? I get it. So you don't put it on the group chat? No. Nah. Do you remind your other friends individually to say, hey, it's Christine's birthday today. Don't forget. Um, so it's kind of like having your friends back. I don't have like backs. friends like that. What? Like I feel like my friendships are kind of individual. Or like I don't have friends that also have the same friends as me. Mm-hmm. You so know? you don't have like, uh, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Like I don't have anyone to remind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But I can't, I wish that some people would remind me, like I have a few friends that I'm like not exactly sure like the day of that month and it comes around and I'm like, did it pass? Did it go by? Is it weird to ask your, to ask your friend when their birthday is? If you kind of forgot, the, is it the third ask or the fourth? Ask that friend when their birthday is? Yeah. It's like, you know, it's coming up, but you don't remember. Nah. Was it the seventh or the eighth? No. Nah. No, right? No. I yeah. feel like it's so, it's really, Yo, I, it's really like a lot to expect people to remember your birthday. Yeah, there's so also, much happening. Also, it's not that big of a deal because them not knowing when your birthday is does not make them less of a friend or less like caring of you or anything like that. I really feel like we should not put value in that the way that maybe some people do. My best friend can forget my birthday, I was about to say every year. No, I, I literally... But, like, I, I really just don't even care. I also put the expectation super low for my birthday. Yeah. Like, obviously, I hope that you would remember. But we also live together, so it's different. It's like, imagine, we'll talk about Imagine my if birthday. I forgot your birthday. Yeah. And then, like, my brother forgot it was my birthday. He told me the next day. And I was like, bro, it's the wrong day. <laughs> and he was like, it's wait, okay. what? It's just funny though. It's not like people don't people don't forget your birthday on purpose. I swear, I promise you. Yeah, like nobody's like, oh damn, it's your birthday. I ain't saying shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fuck? Oh, okay. it's Yoni's birthday. I'll text him next week. It's never like that. Yeah, no, it's never like that. Sometimes okay. I would, um, I would say that I 
if you do hang out with the person in real life and it's your birthday or it's been your birthday, like maybe it was yesterday, they didn't text you and they haven't said it back. I'm just, I would never be the type of person that would be like, bro, you know, it was my birthday yesterday, right? I wouldn't mention it. You don't mention it. it? I don't mention it. What if they ask you what you do for your birthday? Like, what did you do last weekend? And then you say, oh, you know, it was my birthday. We just kind of just hung oh, out. Oh, yeah. No, then I would say it. Yo, they would be like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> that would be so funny. Yeah, but, you know. It's okay. We're just kind of talking about it just to see what everybody thinks about it. Let me know what you do in the country. I know also just like tradition. Mm-hmm. There's also a lot of different ways people celebrate birthdays. Like some people, mm-hmm. this whole conversation to them, it's like, if you if you forget my birthday, it's like a thing. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. sure somewhere that's like a very, very serious thing. But to us, it was just really just another day. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I do I do take note of who remembered and who didn't. But yeah, same. I think that's just human nature. And sometimes I'm surprised by the people that reach out to say happy birthday. Mm-hmm. And it's really that I'm like, oh, we haven't talked in like years, but thanks. Shout out to Facebook. You know, and then you have like an opportunity that that's like the one time I talk to this person is always on my birthday or their birthday. And that's okay. Yeah. And that's fine. And it's like, hey, how you been? How's life? How's this? Oh, just graduated. Oh, just got married. Oh, just this. Oh, moving. Oh, whatever. Oh, dope. Cool. Blah. Like, it's nice, you know? It's okay. If that's the one time that you talk to them once a year on we your have birthday and their birthday, cool. All these expectations we have for other people, I think we can chill a little bit because everyone has their own life that they're living. You don't know the what they're going through. Like you. Yeah. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they're going through emotionally, physically, financially. All the things. Yeah. And then you expect them to remember your birthday when they're trying to figure out like how to pay rent or something. Honestly, this yeah. is like so it's it's kind of selfish. Yeah, and honestly, I feel like birthdays are just kind of overrated. Like, it, it is just the day you were born. But it also is just another day as yeah. well. You know? Yeah. Okay, well, since... um, Oh, wait, one last thing. What? What do you want to do? By the time you're 25, are there some things you want to, like, oh, what accomplish? Are my, like, do you want to... Resolutions yeah, for my you, 24 years of life? I mean, you know, what did you say like that? <laughs> my because next year my next birthday is going to be my twenty fifth, which is like a big one. Okay. So, um, I don't know. I mean, we have a lot coming up, like just in the next three months. Or that, three weeks. <laughs> yeah, that are super exciting. You know, it's like we're moving from Seattle. We're getting rid of our apartment. We're getting rid of all these uh, things. It's gonna feel crazy to like just have like no home for a month i think it's gonna be pretty cool it's gonna be nice right um we're gonna travel for a month we're gonna see your family and i'm gonna meet family that i've never met before on your side and you the same on my side and um just gonna get to like travel and then after that move to new york and then start this whole new chapter like and that's happening just in the next like three months which is insane so i'm just like you know who who knows what 24 is going to be because this whole year is going to be way different we're going to live in a different city and it's going to be new york city and every day something new can happen and the amount of like just thinking about i want to acknowledge and really take in like take like a a screenshot of just where my life is right now and then take a screenshot of like where i'm going to be a year from now when it's my birthday again and just like if i could put them side by side it'd no, be we, crazy we like can. mentally you know mm. no just for me mentally of just like i don't necessarily have a, a specific year. resolution or goal <laughs> it's more of like i'm super excited to see where the fuck we're gonna end up in a year from now a year from now we can look back on this episode exactly yeah and we're gonna see yeah it's like and and i i'll be able to think back to this moment and like remember everything that's going on right remember how stressed and anxious we were at this time because there's so much that we have to figure out so much is gonna happen yeah yeah so the people we're gonna meet you know where where the podcast is at where the podcast is gonna be you know also like our individual careers like what's gonna happen in a year from now i have no idea what the little communities we're gonna form in the new city the like what apartment are we gonna have what clothes what hair color am i gonna have 
Like what setup are we going to be sitting in a year from now? Yeah, I don't know. So I feel like I'm much more of that type of, I'm just super excited for the future in general. Like even besides, you know, my next year as 24 years old. Um, yeah, so. That's nice. I'm excited for you. I know. I'm excited for us. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. And our you birthdays know, are exactly like six months apart. Yeah. So it's kind of nice because we get to like reflect like every six months. That yeah, time. that's true. You know what I realized when you say for us, instead of just like exciting, being excited for, for you, it's like when when you're married, there is no more like most of the things it's like us mm -hmm. you know so when you when i talk about something right because earlier alia was like packing stuff around the house and then i was like damn i hope i hope you didn't like pack you know any of my shit right oh no i went through like our our bathroom like storage to oh, just yeah, kind of yeah. like purge because i'm purging like every part of our apartment if you don't know what purging means it's basically like you go through all the stuff that you have and you try to like throw away or get rid of as much of stuff that's like unnecessary that you just have oh thanks for the translation ellie <laughs> yeah nice. so that's what i've been doing i did today a lot um and i did that in the bathroom today and then that's where yonia was like well i hope you didn't throw away any of my shit and then i said you mean our shit yeah because it's, it's like everything is ours okay? yeah really Okay, well, we got to the end of this episode. It is officially bedtime. Yes, it is. Um, and thank you for joining us for another What's the Juice episode. We hope that you guys are doing well and you're enjoying beautiful weather. We in Seattle don't have beautiful weather right now. Ever since we got back from uh, New York City, I got to be honest with you guys. I'm, I haven't really been... Uh, I haven't really been on the same level. I mean, not at all. Um, I barely left the house since we came back. Yeah, that is true. And which you should just take a walk or something. Yeah. I <laughs> no, I definitely <laughs> like, should. I'm like going to go in. work at a coffee shop or something because I cannot be in here anymore. But yeah, for some reason, the weather... I mean, apparently before we came back from New York, that whole time we were in New York, it was very nice here. No, I don't care about that. Yeah, I don't care about that. It's as <laughs> if like, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Thanks. My mom I'll loves to tell me that because I love to use this time, like how this weather sucks right now as like proof and reason of why I don't want to live here anymore. And I'm like of course it's raining in seattle she's like yeah but it was sunny like a few days ago and i was like mom it was but it's not anymore yeah she's so cute though yeah if you uh if you made it to the end of this episode we need you to write what do you do on your birthday oh oh okay like just comment, tell us yeah like just briefly. comment do you like gifts do you not like gifts are you expecting gifts from people mm. you know what i mean are you expecting texts from people yeah something do you let small. people know yeah exactly do you let it. people know they forgot your birthday you know just give us like whatever question we talked about just give us an answer to one of those okay um thank you guys so much for listening again and for being part of this community we're mm -hmm. super excited we have some fun things coming for you guys oh I'm for so excited the summer I'm so excited. um more on that in probably a few episodes but we're yeah. also I, I don't know if we mentioned but we're not going to be recording while we're on our trip for those four weeks yeah so we're gonna we're gonna take some break from recording but don't worry because the episodes will not be taking a break they will just keep coming at you yeah so those will be not in real time so yeah. any stories on my instagram that you may see probably you might see a lot of them mm -hmm. um of us being like not here but then you see an episode that we're sitting right here it's because they're pre-recorded yeah but then we'll catch up after the summer when we get back we're gonna have we're gonna a five hour York? podcast episode What'd you say? Five hour episode? No, like when I, when we get back, I said we're gonna catch everybody up with you know what we did this summer. Oh yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, for sure. We should probably call that episode uh, "Summer 2023." That'd be pretty Yo, cool. Yodi loves using the year in titles and shit. I think it's cool. Nah, uh, it's basic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay. Um, I just yawned like three times. I feel like so it's time to wrap it up. See you guys later. Have a great evening. Have a great morning. Oh, one more thing. Sorry. Sorry. Shout out to everyone that's been sending us photos of the poppy billboards in New York City. 
Yes. And if you live in New York, if you just go around Soho or like Honestly, they're everywhere. They're everywhere in New York. So yeah. if you see anything poppy, if you just look around, you might notice a photo of me and Alia, which this really manifested. Yeah. I like that it's actually pretty crazy. We don't have any right now because we just ran out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you see our face, take a picture, tag us. We will repost it. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, I wish we saw it. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see it because we left before they went up. But, yeah. you know. We left a day before they went up. Is that crazy? No, no, no. No, no, no. They, we just didn't know they went up. They went up a day before we left. Hmm. And then we just didn't know. We could have seen them. Yeah. But anyways, um, and also shout out to your dogs. Shout out Everybody. to your dog. Um, hint, hint. Something coming up. Something coming with with the dogs mm-hmm. yes yeah, so they always seen the, the sticker everyone was like wait does that mean there's merch on the way i was like maybe i don't know maybe baby okay guys we're gonna i'm gonna go to sleep now all right bye <laughs> bye